Hello everybody, welcome back to another thrilling episode of the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival Server. And, um, picking up where we left off, we need some more sorting tubes. I put some text onto these signs just to get these labeled. Uh, nothing's been sorted into these yet. Uh, I did have a epiphany, if we can call it such. But I don't know if I have the right pieces to do this. I need a teleporting tube. I don't think I have any, because here's my, here is my idea. I can put teleporting tubes coming off the backs of these and every other sorter and teleport that stuff to someplace else. So this first one, I figure I'll probably have a lot of leaves. Instead of making the leaves go through everything, I can just use a teleporter and just pop them right in here. So first order of business is, how do we even make a teleport tube? Because I honestly have no idea. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's not so bad. Wow. Either way, it's pretty expensive. This looks to be easier, but it'd have to have mace blocks. And I don't even know if I have... I have 14, so that would give me... Did that yield only one? It yields two. Okay. Well, let's do it then. Oh, I got 30 crystals too, so that would make a lot of... That would maybe make me one or two more blocks. So let's grab that. Now, I should have probably checked to see if I had desert stone. That probably would have been smart. Um, If I don't... And it doesn't look as if I do... I bet I can find some someplace. I don't need too much. Only two. Aha! Desert cobblestone. I believe that just has to be cooked. Right? And it turns it back on. Sure do. All right. Then I need some plastic sheets. I have a ton of those. That'll be sufficient. Hmm. I don't have enough inventory space. Do store all of this junk. And that is full. Here, let me throw that in there. This stuff all needs to get sorted out anyways. But that's why we're building the sorting machine. Okay, so let's do this. Uh-huh, we need mise block, yep. Desert stone and plastic sheets, I've got all of those. Hey, wait, what? Huh? That makes no sense. That's what I have. Hmm. That makes no sense. That's really lame. Because this looks way too expensive to make. Copper coils. And one of these doodads, silicone wafer, copper, chromium. I guess we try that method then. Okay, so I need silicone, chromium, copper, and fine gold wire. Which of course, I don't have any fine gold wire, but I can make that up quickly enough. Alright, I'll throw that in there and then there, so I won't be needing those. Chromium I will need. I will need some copper wire. I will need some copper ingots. And I will need some raw iron, I think. Alright, so... I need this. I need that. Oh, I don't have the silicone wafer. Silicone wafer. Where are you at? Represent. Okay, control logic unit is in the house. I need two copper coils. I don't think I have any sitting in here. No, I do not. All right, and this is tin, isn't it? No, it is rod iron. Okay. So I need quite a few of those, actually. That should suffice. And then two there, two there, two here, two here. This had really better work, because if it doesn't, I will be disappointed. Though I will at least won't be wasting anything. Because you use copper. I don't know why I closed that. 
use copper coils in all sorts of recipes. And I need some pneumatic tube segments, which I have. Oh, but I need mice crystals now. All right, well, we'll just swap those around. And you've got to be kidding me. Oh, duh. Well, that's really pretty disappointing. And that oh, you that only makes one? Are you kidding me? Ay ay ay. Why doesn't the other recipe work? That makes no sense. Okay, well, I guess we can go throw a bunch more of this stuff in here. I don't need that. I don't need that or that. Or this or this or this or this. Or these or these or those or that. Or this. I'm out of space to chuck stuff. All right, let's make another one. So we need silicone wafer. I don't remember what else I needed for that. Logic control unit. Silicone, copper, and chromium. Chromium, chromium. Oh, wait. It's still there. All right. Man, this is really disappointing. So I have to turn this back to the Mies crystals. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't even know why I did that. I could have literally put it in there and faster. <laughs> Okay, so then I need two of these copper coils again. Oh, first I have to make the copper wire. Uh, okay, I'm going to just do this because... Where is it? Here we go. Uh, that'll make one. And that'll be two. That is a nice little feature. I do wish that there was a button to just send everything back to inventory, but... You know what? That's all right. I can live with it. It makes doing some crafts really, really easy. Oh, I didn't have enough copper in there. Because like anything that uses those shapes, you just put a whole stack of 99 click in there and then take out what you need. It makes it quite simple. Okay, well these are really way too expensive to use for a whole lot of things. So I'm very disappointed in that. But let's try this out. Okay, so we'll put one there. Oh. So blue is going to be teleporting. No, I think you have to put like channels or something on these. I've on. Oops. I've honestly never used. Oh, it's in the wrong place. I've never used these, so I don't really know how that works. I feel like it's unconfigured channel. Channels are public by default. Use player channel for fully private channels. Use player semicolon for private receivers. Hmm, okay. Nathan colon leaves. Um, and then I just escape out. I didn't save it. Receive on. Oh, duh. Nathan S21. That's probably why. Leaves. Teleportion tube sending and receiving on Nathan S21 leaves. All right. And then we do the same thing here. Nathan S21. Oh, I'm going to do a semicolon there. Leaves. Okay, now I just need some leaves, which I would think I would have tons of. Oh, duh. Right in here, I bet. Well, I have four. Well, I'll take everything, actually. Ah, and I have these. I'll take those as well. All right. So now, I got this done right. I just need to set the leaves in blue. So they will teleport over. And then you try to reach this chest. And chuck the leaves up in that. And let's see the magic happen. Leaves go down, as is expected. Good. Goes to the blue. Wait, what? Leaves. Isn't this called leaves? Okay, maybe it needs to be uh, a colon as well. Maybe they both need to be the same? I guess they do. Okay. 
So now it pulled some stuff in. Very nice. Now, unfortunately, the auto crafter only crafts leaves. It doesn't do group. Which I don't really understand. But I don't think there's any way to make it do the group instead. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, another little thing I thought of is I'm going to have problems with overload here going to the grinder when I bring back ores. Because this is going to be blinking because it's being powered by two blinky plants. So the blinky plants need to be moved so it doesn't affect all three at the same time. Easy enough to do. I just need a third blinky plant now. Which I think thought it's probably sitting in here actually I thought I had a blinky plant if I don't it's no big deal not that I remember how to make them but they're not too hard it's just uh, saplings and uh, some me scones and I've got me scones right there beautiful Give me one of these suckers. Sure, take those. I don't care. All right. Whoa. Alligator in the house. Time to go take care of some pests. Ah! If you get him right, you can reach him, but he can't reach you. Just like this. He's stuck in the corner, kind of. And knockback pushes him back. Yay. Okay. This might be easier to do from the outside. We just have to dig a hole, essentially, just dig a hole, and chuck this stuff, where did that come from, an apple? Interesting. Okay, so, there should be one here. Oh, man. What was out there? Whatever it was, it was like a one-hit kill totally OP overpowered by the way oh there's a heron up there of course there would be all right so we just put our blinky plant there and put our dirt back there I should don my armor not that I have much of it or that it's doing much good and then I think I need to take this and this oh Maybe I should have grabbed those monkey plants when I was inside. Oh, maybe it's a... Uh, can I? Can I? Nope. Alright. So, kind of a fail on my part there. Just need to run back inside. Grab those blinky plants. So I can chuck them where they need to go. And... Dig that out. That can actually get wood put back in, which would be nice. We won't have these goofy holes sticking through. And blinky plant at the ready. It will make it a little more difficult to turn them on and off if I ever wanted to do that. But I don't see myself doing that very often, so should not be a problem. Okay, do I have wood on me? Maybe in one of my bags. Mm -hmm -hmm. Here we go. And let's just craft that. And do some blanks. And the bada boom, bada bing. Very nice, very nice. Let's go back down to the basement here. And I think if I'm going to do this, I may as well do it right and put stone tile down. So I'm going to take out all this cobble and this stone down here. And we're going to tile it up with stone tile, which center chest, top chest. There we go. I don't know why I did that, because that didn't, did not give me the result I was looking for. Alright. It is kind of odd, though, that I'm using 
stone tile for the floor here where the floor everybody everywhere else is just stone but I suppose I can change that All right it's no no hard set rule saying that has to be the way it's done I'm gonna take out these because these blocks are all gonna be visible and yeah I like everything to match perfectly if I was really super I would have taken out all of those in there too but I'm not that worried about it okay and then probably need to pull out this bit as well so we can put tile there and then of course we will need some lighting for this all because you know we need lighting fortunately I think I have a few 33 or just a few on me so we can finish that staggered pattern right there um, we'll have to figure something out for the floor here maybe a stairway or something so it's not a full jump I really want to figure out the food but I think that's gonna have to wait till the next episode right now oh I can't reach that chest anymore that was a bad move there we go I can reach the chest okay so what other things do I have that I'm gonna to want to sort um, pop that back in there cobblestone can go in there <laughs> what do I have in here that we need to get rid of um and what kind of sorting groups would make sense I kind of just really want to get rid of this chest so it's not blocking the walkway it's kind of a big thing right now okay potentially if anything was in there it's gonna end up coming out there stone cobblestone and dirt actually it's stone tile so I should make one for stone we'll do the top one here so green will do desert stone and how about we do what's coming off the front red should always stay the same right yeah red red will be my granite it'll be the marble I'll be obsidian um, kind of like those specialty brick kind of things I really don't know how I want to do wood and why don't I have a chest up there oh well so yellow will do maybe we'll just do all of one types we'll do what is this rubber yeah rubber tree and rubber tree there red will be those these and these all right now gravel should go into something I don't know if gravel really deserves its own its own chest unload all of this stuff oh and those and nothing should go through here mm, okay that's sorting properly good wood wait 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 why is it going backwards I didn't make any sense why is marble going back up what is going on here huh it's like the stuff's hitting on each other or something weird something's not working right why is my granite and the wood I'm confused Okay, well now the granite went in. Why won't the wood go past this? OK, 
Okay, now it did. Now it's stuck here. What? Okay, maybe... Do I want to turn all the blacks off? So there's no sorting coming in? Is that how this should be done? I don't know. Okay, so this top one is going to be stone. So we have stone tile. And then we have stone. Beautiful. Um, marble, obsidian, and granite. Marble, obsidian, granite. Is there an E at the end? I think so. Indeed there is. And then this is a rubber tree? I don't know exactly how to call that. Rubber tree. Because I guess why not? All right. And then this one has, oh. Hmm. Default tree, I guess. And the bottom one has. Wait, that's. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not right. It's not right at all. That should have went in there. This should have went in there. And the saplings should have been put in the chest so we could see if they sort properly all right let's see how this goes now i turned off all of the blacks so everything just flows in smoothly good okay see that wasn't supposed to go there though so let's see what yellow has yellow has nothing what in the world Excuse me, what? Maybe... Maybe if the outputs are set to... Oh, because if it's set to nothing, it'll take anything. That's why. Okay, so let's turn green off. Because nothing should be going up. Should I be going through those two? And then blue. Well, there is nothing connecting to blue, so it doesn't even show. All right, let's try this now. All right, let's throw the saplings and the wood, and let's see where this stuff goes. Going through, going through. It looks like it went into the chest in front. Excellent. And rubber wood's going down. That's good. And rubber saplings, the same. Beautiful. Well, that's going to wrap this episode up. <sighs> I am disappointed that the teleport tubes don't work with the cheaper recipe. Especially because that one yields two. And the more expensive one only yields one, which just seems wrong. But I guess who am i to judge right uh but yeah thanks for watching i'll be back again next week same time same channel so be sure to tune in then and um subscribe if you haven't already definitely subscribe it's the absolute best decision you could ever make